I'd like to begin with a question about one of the most mysterious and important phases of life, which is puberty. I've long wondered whether or not how quickly somebody goes into puberty, so at what age, and how long puberty takes, so how brief or protracted that puberty is for them to acquire the so-called secondary sexual characteristics, things like hair growth on the face for males, or, uh, changes in bone and muscle density and growth, et cetera. You know, when I was in middle school and high school, I noticed that some people transitioned into all that very fast and some mm -hmm. people uh, took a long time to acquire those characteristics. Can we learn anything about ourselves, our hormones, and maybe even how long we're going to live based on the time in which we enter puberty and how long it takes us to progress through puberty? And I guess that also raises the question, does puberty ever truly end? There are many takeaways from puberty. Um, some of the actionable items from it is, yes, it can and does affect your adult height and also stature and also body composition. So puberty is a time, um, and if, you're, if we're talking specifically about males, think of it as a, a time where if you have obesity as a child, you could potentially use that time to change your lifestyle and habits and reset things, and it is a bit easier. It's almost like a, a free injection of testosterone and metabolism and drive and effort into your life. There is a wide variation in um, how quickly puberty goes through. So there's stages called Tanner stages, which we don't necessarily need to get into. But if you enter puberty very early, then it can uh, decrease your adult height or stature. So for a given male that enters puberty at 13 versus a male that enters puberty at 15, can we say that the guy that entered puberty at 13 is going to be shorter than the guy that entered puberty at 15, or it's not quite that straightforward? If they are identical twins and the individual who entered puberty at age 13 also finished puberty, went all the way through the Tanner stages, and if you do a bone scan, which I believe is usually done on the left wrist, and it says, yes, your growth plates are mostly closed, you're not going to grow more than a couple inches of height after that. Okay. Uh, just a related question. When I was growing up, it was thought, or at least people would say, that resistance training, in particular lifting heavy weights, could stunt one's growth. Is that true or false? It is False when you're talking about just lifting heavy weights. Dirty bulking certainly has the potential to stunt one's growth for, could, for two main mechanisms. Could you define dirty bulking? Yeah, so uh, dirty bulking is eating an excess of calories, not just to acquire lean, metabolically active body mass or get stronger, but uh, purposely acquiring body fat. So purposely acquiring muscle and fat by overeating... Yes. And lifting weights can stunt one's growth. Do I have that correct? Correct. So it does two things. If you're doing it as a very young child, it can, that fat can, can become leptin resistant and it can produce more leptin. And that leptin can activate the hypothalamus, which activates the pituitary, which releases gonadotropins, which basically just increase testosterone and estrogen earlier than it otherwise would have. It's the same mechanism behind why childhood obesity causes early puberty. Interesting. I do remember a paper published in Science Magazine, I believe it was focused mainly on females, but showing that when enough body fat accumulates, the hormone leptin is secreted and that triggers the onset of puberty. Correct. Given the increase in uh, childhood obesity that we're observing now, are we seeing an earlier onset of puberty in males and females? Yes, in both males and females. Not to get too technical, but there's a G-protein coupled receptor on the hypothalamus and leptin directly binds it. So it does appear directly causatory and not just correlation. Okay, so and if I understand correctly, what you're saying is for a young guy, let's say 13, 14, who wants to really bulk up and deliberately, deliberately, excuse me, overeats and is doing their squats and deadlifts and bench presses and really trying to get big, they will get big but only in the lateral dimension. They are not, they're effectively limiting their total height and it can shut down the long bone growth of, of their limbs. Is that correct? 
Correct. The The growth of the long bones is mostly related to the estradiol alpha receptor. So basically one of the receptors for estrogen, which can be secondary to uh, early puberty and also is related to body fat because you have that conversion of testosterone to estrogen. So can we assume that if a young male wants to get into resistance training, that body weight exercises are probably okay and maybe even some weight training, kettlebells, et cetera, but that they should avoid doing so-called dirty bulking, trying to deliberately gain weight up until what age? Until puberty is over? I would say an individual should limit the amount of uh, body abnormal body fat accumulation or dirty bulking indefinitely throughout their entire life. So again, if I understand correctly, that recommendation to avoid deliberate weight gain or rapid weight gain is not just to allow an individual to reach their maximum height, but also to avoid laying down a lot of body fat cells, correct? Correct. The balance between that is when you are going through puberty, you are able to add a lot of lean body mass, not just muscle mass, but bone mass and other mass as well. I started lifting weights when I was 16, and I confess I trained pretty heavy at times. Uh, I don't know whether or not I would have been taller uh, than I am now. But when I started that training, I had already reached what was at least close to my predicted height. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say that I deliberately waited until I'd grown. It just so happened that I stumbled into the weight room and found that I liked it at age 16, at which point I was already the height that I am now. So in any case, um, what I'm hearing is that laying down a lot of excess body fat is not a good idea. What if somebody grows up chubby or fat? Uh, for whatever reason, uh, reasons related to the eating patterns in their family, maybe mm -hmm. even some genetic reasons. Is it safe and or wise for a young person, so let's say somebody who's around the age of puberty or even younger or in their late teens to be dieting and actively trying to lose body fat? Is that safe? Under the supervision of a physician, it is certainly safe to change your body composition. In pediatric obesity medicine, you're often talking about a recomposition or a renormalization of the growth curve compared to peers. Mm. 